Hi, welcome to my guide. This is a simple guide to kill bots at Revenants. Super easy that even I can do it. I am a terrible PKer, and if it comes with more than two switches, I suck. So, without further ado, let's go kick some dicks in on these bots. Right, so here are the revs that we're going to be killing. We're going to be going to the demon, the hobgoblin, and the goblin. These are their locations, and these are about the bot combat levels that you're going to come across. So as long as you're able to attack them, go for it. This method also requires 85 mage. Ideally, you want to have 85 mage and a tome. If you can have at least a tome of water, you can do extra damage with it, and um, it makes it a little bit easier because you're going to be prioritizing mage. If you have 95, obviously I would go with a tome of fire. More damage, more DPS, more kills. And if you can afford it and have 75 attack, I would go with the Staff of the Dead because it is a pretty good melee weapon and it helps with casting magic. Again, we're going to be prioritizing that. Alright, so this is my baby pure. We're going to be using this to kill the bots. These are the stats and we're going to be prioritizing the Staff of the Dead. Um, it's going to be a good melee weapon and they will pray mage and that way we'll be able to staff bash them and they will go back and forth to mage and melee. I also brought the DDS for a special attack and the higher the mage uh, the better you're gonna have chances of killing these bots so I would prioritize magic over everything. Alright so I pop in here I stand right at the entrance of the cave and you can see the demon just shot a projectile at someone so there's definitely someone there going with protection prayers and your strongest magic prayer that you can do TB and bind now as you can see when I put the staff on they switch to magic so I start beating them to death with the staff and as you can see it starts hitting pretty well now you usually can get about three to four hits um, before the entangle runs out so then what you do is you cast entangle and as soon as you see that XP drop you run uh, towards the exit and that way you always stay ahead of them and you can always keep up the damage. Alright, and as you can see, the spot isn't praying melee, so I just keep staff bashing. I'll speed it up here just so you can kind of see how the kill goes. But again, every time an entangle happens, you want to run. And that way you are always ahead of them and they can't get gap. Unless you miss three to four entangles in a row, which does happen every now and then. But if they don't pray melee, and I'm getting disconnected here, this is cool. You just keep staff bashing and eventually they will drop if you have a high enough strength level. So that's one down. So since I still have a lot of supplies, I walk back to restore my run and I hop worlds. And the next very world, I find someone else. Now, unfortunately, this will happen even at 99 mage, you will splash. And unfortunately, I splashed twice and I was not able to catch him on the third one and he got gapped. So when this happens, I just reset and I hop to another world in hopes of finding someone else. And then as we hop, it is usually pretty instant, but this one, I had to hop two different worlds, found another one, and I hit the TB. Now they always want to run to that corner. Um, it's obviously away from the PKer, so they try to get away that way, and if you splash twice on the TB, they're gone. Sometimes even once they'll get out of here. But as you see with this one, he had melee up, I switch to the staff, he puts mage prey up, and then I start hitting him and he goes to melee. So then what I do is I make sure I catch the entangle, and since once he puts that melee prayer up, I start prioritizing magic. So that way it starts hitting him off prayer and I do the most DPS, and then he will switch back and forth. Now, again, you can get about four, maybe five hits if you're quick enough. And then you have to catch the entangle, which I didn't there, but <clears throat> since I hit the entangle and I clicked on the map to keep running with them, I caught the second one. And and we started to kick the bots dick in. Basically, just hitting off prayer, entangling when I can, and trying to stay ahead of them. He does get outside of the cave, which means I don't get the 100k, but I am able to finish him off here and um, catch the last entangle. Goes to Mage Prey and I hit him with the staff and he falls. Now, usually the keys are worth a few hundred K. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky where it's closer to four to five hundred K. But once they get outside the cave, you lose that hundred K rev fee and you know that does make a good chunk of change for you. But as you can see, these two keys, not too bad, uh, you know, about 250 a piece. 
and that's about the average that you can expect. Now, if I would have got the 100K from him, that would have been closer to 350, which would have been nice, but beggars can't be choosers. All right, so now we basically come to a little bit lower level, 76 combat, not as high strength and 60 attack, so it is pretty basic. I do have 99 magic. I made sure I got it on here. Uh, just because, again, my magic is the main thing you're going to be using, and you're going to prioritize that over everything. I usually like to hold the DDS because one, they pray melee, but two, it also gives a nice little magic bonus. And then once I start attacking them, we throw this D sim on and they start praying melee and we go back and forth. So again, same thing, you see the demon attacking someone, throw the TB on, you catch it, and they always run to that corner, so you want to hit an entangle. And since the mist, run towards the entrance, try to hit it again, boom. And if you're lucky, what I do is before I enter the demon cave, I always put my spec on because they will prioritize mage first. So you can usually get a cheeky little uh, special attack in there. But again, as you see, trying to hit off prayer. I'm still hitting apparently, but you uh, hit the entangle, click, and make sure you're ahead of them. And again, just hit them with melee and, and whatever they pray, you just use the opposite attack and just do maximum DPS. The biggest thing I always try to say is entangle and click on the map so that way they never gap you. And again, just kind of watching their overhead prayer. Usually you can keep the DDS out and they will pray melee and then hit them with three mage attacks and then they'll switch to magic and then you can get another special attack. So just like here, bang. Come in, hit them, good, they will pray melee again. So then you have to go back to magic. And he does get out of the cave, which sucks, but you still get the kill because he is super low on food. Prioritize magic and boom, down he goes. Now, another area we usually go to is hobgoblins. This is a little bit lower area, so my main uh, pure wouldn't be too well here but as you can see we find a nice little 62 and we catch the tv on the second one which was lucky and then we try to get the entangle but since i splash i have to click on the map as soon as i see that xp drop and then i'm able to catch it now he prioritizes melee so we hit him a couple times and then we get ahead and then, and then we start maging him and again same concept just hit him off prayer do the most dps rinse and repeats this one gets a little bit tricky and this is why i always say once you hit an entangle spell you run because if i missed and i didn't click on the map he would have gotten away here and i'm able to land it he's low finish him off and it's a nice juicy little kill that we get so we go check the chest and we come to a nice 700 k kill you don't usually get stuff like this so when you do cherish it because this is definitely huge um, but that bot was risking a lot and last but not least we come to the goblin area this is where you'll find a lot of lower levels um, low 70s upper 60s and they're not as common as demons or hobgoblins so you will have to hop around a few times like I do here but eventually you will come across someone um, that is killing them and the bots are usually pretty easy to kill. The problem with this area is it's so close to the exit that you are almost guaranteed not to get the kill in the caves. So you lose that 100k potential. That's why I love the demons because you can do it on really any account and uh, get an extra 100k bonus which is nice. Now here I find someone I am able to land the TB and for some reason it decided to run that way I'm not too sure why but I go out and I am able to land the entangle and we rinse and repeat hit off prayer and put on our prayers that's one of the biggest problems with the goblin area is you're not able to set up before you attack so you have to remember to get your prayers up and that way again do the most DPS they are usually lower level so it's usually a pretty easier kill to do but it can be a little tricky sometimes. Fortunately, we get the kill here and... ...250k. Again, if we were able to get in the caves, that would have been nice because it would have been an extra 100k on top of it. 
So the goblins I'm not a huge fan of, but it is good for lower levels as you can see. For some reason they decided to run out that way. I don't know if the bot's broken and that's why it is programmed to run that way since it's running away from the PK air. But eventually when you hit the TB it tries to escape and goes outside and again just rinse and repeat. Prioritize off prayer hits and you should get the kill. 99 ma magic makes this so much easier but it is not necessary. I've done it with 85 with the tone water so usually a good plus one is a tome or the staff always keep protect item on and at most you lose 100k if you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe like and comment and i will see you in the next video